My talk is about a two-parameter family of measure-value diffusions with Poisson de Riche less stationary distributions. This solves a conjecture by Fang and Sun, and this is joint work with Noah Foreman, Douglas Rizolo, and Xuan Shi, and also Shumik Pal for some relevant parts. So what does Poisson de Riche mean in the measure-valued context? Well, first, without measures, it's the distribution of a random decreasing sequence best described via so-called stick breaking. Imagine a stick of length one. We split it into two parts, into beta proportions. We break off the first part and continue breaking the remainder independently into further beta proportions. We end up with a random sequence. Its distribution on the space of decreasing sequences that sum to one is called Poisson de Richelieu alpha theta. The two parameters appear in the beta variables. But the stick breaking sequence itself is not decreasing. We rank it into decreasing order. Finally, we use the Poisson de Richelieu parts as atoms of a random measure and place the atoms into locations that are independent uniform random variables. This is also known as the three-parameter Dirichlet process, where the uniform distribution is one of the parameters, or the pitman yaw process in Bayesian statistics. Our study of measure-value diffusions is motivated by Petrov's diffusions in the space of decreasing sequences. They are reversible with respect to Poisson Dirichlet alpha theta. More precisely, Petrov constructed them as scaling limits of a natural up-down Chinese restaurant process and identified their generator as the closure of a pre-generator on an algebra of symmetric functions with diffusive part, right Fisher-like interactions, and what looks like two kinds of downward drift that bring in the two parameters, alpha and theta. But that's a very subtle story. Fang and Sun conjectured that there is a measure-valued version, and that's what we are after. These are conjectured diffusions involve, evolving in a space of probability measures on the interval 0, 1, or almost equivalently on any Polish space. We'll see they actually evolve in the subspace of purely atomic measures. Now, measure-valued version can be made precise by requiring that the induced process that just captures ranked atom sizes is Petrov's diffusion. The alpha equal to zero case already existed. They are Fleming VO processes. Their Poisson de Richelieu stationary distribution was established by Ethia and Kurtz. That's Poisson de Richelieu zero theta. Now, how are we going to construct these conjectured diffusions in the two parameter case? Well, we are going to generalize Shiga's construction of the Fleming VO zero theta process. The starting point for Shiga is a paper by Pittman and Yor on excursion measures and Bessel bridges. They construct zero-dimensional squared Bessel processes, also known as the Feller diffusion, from a Poisson random measure. Its intensity is an excursion measure, but the construction is not like Ito's stitching together. That doesn't work here, but by adding them up. The squared Bessel process, the sum, can be better seen in this picture, here with different excursions in different colors, all added up. But for our generalization, it's more useful to depict the Poisson random measure by showing excursions evolving in the vertical direction. Up the page, a spindle-like shapes. We now add up widths of those excursions. Those that make it to level Y. And level up here is time down there. Pittman and you also constructed squared Bessel processes with dimension parameter theta by explicitly immigrating more best squared zero excursions at rate theta. An excursion immigrating at time s reaches y time y minus s later. So the value of such an excursion f back arrow 
at y minus s gives us the width at height y. Now let's move this picture and the theorem up here. What Shiga did with this construction is to mark the Poisson random measure sampled from a continuum of allelic types, if you like, the Fleming v or Ethia Kurtz genetic context. We illustrate these marks by colors from a color spectrum. Pi here can be any initial distribution on colors. Shiga records this extra structure in a measure valued process by using the spindle widths as atom sizes and the color marks as atom locations. What he obtains is a measure valued branching diffusion. Its total mass fluctuates according to pittman yaw squared bessel processes constructed from those same excursions. To obtain the fleming vio process, Shiga first introduced the Lamperti style time change based on the total mass and then normalized to unit total mass. The process is the same fleming vio zero theta process for which Ethia and Kurtz established poisson dirich stationary distributions. Actually, Shiga's construction is much more general, but we need a different generalization. Here we go. We first generalize Shiga's branching diffusion and later change time and normalize. We also start from a squared Bessel excursion measure and associated Poisson random measure, but with dimension parameter minus two alpha. We can't just add those up. That will give something, but not what we are after. What we do is what we first did without the uniform marks to construct interval partition evolutions. That was with Schumich Powell on our way to constructing the oldest diffusion as a diffusively evolving con Brownian continuum random tree. The key is to build a centered Levy process, a stable process whose jump heights are excursion lengths. And that's why our excursions go up the page. You can hear more about interval partitions and this construction in Chuan Shi's talk and more about the discrete side of the oldest diffusion story in Noah Foreman's and Freddy Sorensen's talks. What we do here is build a measure valued process here starting from a single atom that evolves as a best squared minus two alpha until it dies at some time zeta. Then we run the stable process with best squared excursions in it jumps and stop it when it gets down to level zero. But remember, the measure valued process is going to evolve up the page. So as we move this black bar here up the page, new spindles come and go and we follow their widths, use them as atom sizes and place the atoms into locations given by the color mark. Here a spindle f born at x of t minus is evaluated at y minus x of t minus when it crosses level y. This construction gives a self-similar measure value diffusion that we call SSSP, self-similar superprocess. Here starting from a single atom. Now for general finite purely atomic measure pi, we write it as the sum of its atoms. We just add up independent SSSPs starting from each atom separately. We show that this process is a diffusion, SSSP alpha zero. What about the theta parameter? We recycle the theta equal to zero construction. We remove the initial spindle and consider the stable excursions above the running infimum. These excursions of the stable process form a Poisson random measure. We extend the excursion theory of x above its infimum by including in the Poisson random measure of excursions the spindles and color marks in each excursion. These are part of the Poisson random measure of spindles V. Such marked excursions are what we use to replace the Pittman-Yoshiga immigration 
which were individual spindles. So we had entire excursions, excursions above the minimum instead of single spindles. The natural immigration rate is alpha here, but as with any Poisson random measure, we can vary the intensity in this Poisson random measure of marked excursions to achieve any positive rate theta. This construction, again, with spindles evaluated where they cross level y, yields a self-similar superprocess with parameters alpha and theta. We're starting from the zero measure. There are no spindles that contribute to level zero, but we can start from any initial measure pi by adding the SSSP zero alpha theta starting from zero to an SSSP pi alpha zero starting from pi. This ends our construction and we can now pull all the threads together. Like Shiga, we have a measure value diffusion with a branching property, a Crump or Jaegers type branching property, and that's the SSSP alpha theta. We then use Shiga's time change based on the total mass to, and we renormalize to unit total mass. What we find is a probability measure value diffusion that we call Fleming VO process with parameters alpha and theta. For these diffusions, we establish them as path continuous hunt processes in the space of purely atomic probability measures. For these diffusions, we show that they have the Poisson de Richelieu random measure with parameters alpha and theta as their stationary distribution. In a sequel paper, we further show that their ranked atom masses evolve as Petrov's diffusions, and hence we are resolving the Feng and Sun conjecture. It's been brief, there's more to say. The paper that's the basis of this talk is on the archive. Thanks for watching. I'm looking forward to discussing further this paper and related projects, for example, in the live discussion sessions.